Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien and welcome to the Snow Report presented by Ski Magazine. We're well into October and we've got some exciting news. Ski season has officially started and if this is the first you're hearing about it, then where the hell have you been? That's right, the race to open declared an official winner and it was Arapahoe Basin. They opened the Black Mountain Express on Friday the 13th, oh yes. And the only thing scary about it was the lift lines. Ayo! A Basin knows what it's like to be the prettiest girl in the room. That's all I'm saying. A week later, Loveland Ski Area also opened and they had a commemorative banner to rip for first chair as well. I mean, skiing and snowboarding's great, but that would be the reason to get first chair for me. To ninja kick the banner apart in my ski gear. Oh, how was opening day? Was it great? Yeah, oh yeah, I did karate. I'm Chuck Norris, bitches. Over on the East Coast, everybody seems to be still enjoying the foliage while most of the West Coast has been enjoying a lot of cold and a lot of snow. And looking ahead, our buddies at Open Snow say it's going to be a pretty quiet week for the lower 48. Most of the snowfall happening in British Columbia, but a storm should hit Colorado Thursday into Friday. In this week's Things We Love, it's all about Return of the Turn with professional skier Marcus Kasten. Episode one just dropped and it is awesome. Marcus is in Squaw Valley in search of someone who loves mogul skiing as much as he does and lo and behold, he finds Johnny Mosley. The two of them go all around the mountain just effortlessly wiggling down some moguls and talking about how much they love mogul skiing and skiing in general. It is a great watch, you should go check it out at SkiMag.com. And speaking of Squaw Valley and Alpine Meadows, last year was crazy. Let's recap by the numbers. So Squaw Valley Alpine Meadows received over 60 feet of snow across the entire season. In January, they broke the resort's record for single month snowfall with 282 inches of snow. That's 23 feet. Just look at some of these pictures. The walls of snow are just insane. And then you got these poor guys. These three guys are surrounded by skyscrapers of snow and they're like, really? This is the size of the shovel you gave me? <laughs> so looking at last year's crazy snowfall and preparing for it just in case it happens again this year, they made all sorts of investments into their snow safety programs. This season we're really psyched for all the new tools that we've received. Starting out with some additional dragons, uh, also known as gas -X. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> what are they called? Is gas -X. Nope, we're gonna stick with dragons. So they added 13 dragons this year and these can be detonated remotely any time of day. This is something that would have had to have been done by hand in the past, so it's much safer for the ski patrol. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here thinking, oh, it's so cool that I could, I could change my thermostat on my phone. Could you imagine having an app for this? Just kidding, that probably doesn't exist. That would be irresponsible. The other machine, and quite possibly my favorite machine, is called the Avalancher. Avalanche. Think of this thing as like a beefy t-shirt cannon, but it actually serves a purpose rather than shooting ugly merchandise that no one wants. So all of this and more is going to make it much quicker, safer, and easier to open the mountain for everybody involved. And while we look at these machines with excitement and curiosity and kind of poke fun a little bit, as a ski industry, we take the safety of our guests, of our resort employees, and everyone in between very seriously, and we appreciate it wholeheartedly. All right, that's all I've got for you guys. If you like this video, click that like button, share it around to a friend who will like it too, and in the comments below, tag a ski patroller and thank them for the hard work that they do. I'm Hallie O'Brien, this is The Snow Report Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. The Avalancher. It sounds like a Marvel comic superhero. Are you kidding me? There's the Fantastic Four. Nope, scratch that, make it the Fab Five. You've got Mr. Incredible, you've got Invisible Woman, you've got Thing, the Human Torch, and now the Avalancher. Boom. Quite literally. Boom. The Avalancher. That'll be his catchphrase. Genius.